Previously on Stingers. I've got the hots for someone. Yeah. Trouble is, they don't know it. It's like I don't even exist. He likes you. Don't be ridiculous. You like him too. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, you're blushing now. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. You are. Crown and Anchor are telecasting the Carlton Collingwood game on their big screen tonight. Do you want to go? It's a great atmosphere. No. But thanks. I think he's asking me out. I hope you turned him down. Yeah, of course. Luke Harris wants to suck your toes. Well, apart from other things. You and me at a wedding, hey? Did you ever think that one day it might be ours? What? I think I almost fell in love with you. Just recently. But I'm over it now, so I guess I wasn't. Let's have dinner tonight. What? You know, even me. Go for a meal. Let me think about it. The truth is, you scare me. No. Yes. Yeah, you're dangerous. Well, some women find that attractive. You need a hand? No, nah, no worries. Might tackle a garden when I'm through. Get some exercise. Hey, where'd you put the kettle? I can't find it anywhere. In the box, smart kitchen. Any movement next door? No sign of the dragon lady. From what I can tell, she's in there with the sun. Okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Three Milos, how you going? Nice day for it. Yeah, Daddy, Trish. How's the unpacking going? <laughs> you know, mate, organised chaos. <laughs> Hey, Milos, what about your mum? We thought we might pop over later, have a cuppa and introduce ourselves. Yeah, Liliana don't speak too much English. Not a good idea. OK, well, the office there, you think about it. Better go in, Dal. Come on, I love. <laughs> <laughs> Good-looking woman. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, you're very lucky, man, huh? Uh, hey, listen, we'd love your mother and yourself to come over for a neighbourly drink. Uh, pretty busy, Daddy. Yeah? Thanks. Half your luck. Jeez, I can't get a resting in this town, mate. Not easy being a storm and a packer at the moment. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Yeah, good on you. Kelly Nez no stachitas budalo. No junk mail. Understand? No junk mail. Bug's ready to go, kitchen table. Right I'll try and buy you some time. Good morning, Mrs. Jarris. I'm Trish, Trish Foley from next door. Just moved in. Look, Terry and I were just saying to me, we'd love to have you over for a cup of tea or... Magnice. Move! Well, you know, if there's anything we can do for you, any chores, shopping while Milos is out, just let us... Magnice! Beach. Come on, Pete, come on. I'm Senior Sergeant Reg Masters. We've got a warrant to search this house. No comment here. No right. What the hell are you doing here, Church? I'm on a job, Reg. I'm undercover. You didn't see me.
What the hell was Church doing? I'm supposed to be carrying out a drug bust on this guy. He's a major speed wholesaler with an operation that covers half the western suburbs. Yes, we know of his drug involvement, Reg. We're investigating his mother, Liliana Jarris, for war crimes. Oh, Jesus. Look, there's 200 grand's worth of speed stashed in there somewhere. Did you find any drugs, Reg? No. Now, I was thrown off my stroke somewhat when I found Church about to plant a bug in the kitchen. But Milos has got it stashed. Now, we've been targeting these two. Zlatko Blaznik. He's distributing for Milos. This kid's a low echelon retailer. Oh, yes, Alan Kelly. He's a neighbour of Milos. Chris has already established contact with him. Oh, great. Well, thanks for the update. You know, a little bit of cooperation doesn't go astray. My problem, Reg, is that we can't bust Milos until I gather enough evidence to prove his mother's a war criminal. And what, we, we just let Milos keep selling the drugs that are ruining kids' lives, do we? What? Sorry, Reg. Paper wraps rock. War crimes beat drugs. Oh, no, no, that's bullshit. I suggest we come at Milos from the bottom of the food chain via Alan or Slatko. I'll tell you what, I'll give you Leo and Chris to work with. Once we bust the mother, you can move on the drugs. You can't tell me that's not cooperation. Yeah, yeah. No, Christine has got the body. She really likes to spin and turn. But when she's flirting with the camera... Alan, where's the whiz? Temporarily out of stock. Why did you bring me here if you've got nothing to sell? Oh, shit happens. You've had it all yourself, haven't you? That's why you've got the sweats and shit. Oh, yes, sir. The stuff was cut to buggery. You need three grams just to get a buzz. Good one. I'll see you later. Hey, Jen, don't crack the sheets. Look, I can get some more, OK? Easy. Better gear. When? Well, if you give us a dough up front, I can get some more. <laughs> then I'll give you a call, eh? Yeah, like I'm going to do that. OK, OK. Look, just give us your number. I'll make sure the next stuff's clean. Mate, the stuff was cut to buggery. It used to be top shelf. Gets you high, doesn't it? Well, yes, yeah, sort of. But Milos said that... Milos can kiss my ass. You want me to freeze you out of the loop? No, hey, man, no way. Hey, chill out, bro. Well, then you'll take what you give and you little prick and be grateful. Listen, like I've got a buyer now. She's keen for three Gs, cashed up and hot to trot. And she'll have to wait. I may make sure it's good this time. Because Milos always promised no, that... piss off. But I give you nothing. Hey, that's cool. As soon as you're ready, bro. There's plenty coming. You get what you need. Great. See ya. Yeah, that's good, Sophie. We'll finish this off in the morning. Take an early night. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Ange. Yeah, hi, sir. They put that report on your desk. Yeah, no worries. Um, hi. This is just a summary of the phone tapes logged from the Jarrah's landline. It's mostly in Serbian, so don't know how useful it'll be. Oh, well, we can probably get it translated. Hmm. Are you, uh... Going back to the house? Yeah. Let's a drink. Well, I've got a hungry hubby to feed. <sighs> After luck. We're very good at pretending. Well, that's why I employ you. Luke. Luke, we've been through this. It can't happen. Yeah, I know. What if somebody comes in? Well, everyone's gone. They're on a by bust. What about Sophie? So, uh, Sophie's uh, gone home like every early night. Uh. <laughs> right. Wait. 
I just don't want our first time to be on your desk. Okay. Okay. Have the couch. Okay. Mm Sophie Novak speaking. Hello, Sophie, it's Brian. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Just tried Harris's phone. Is he gone? Luke, no, I'm sure. He was there a minute ago. Well, the fire bus turned to shit. We need to discuss our next move. Oh. Look, we're heading back to HQ now. We'll be there real soon. Uh. Oh, so you want me to tell him? If you wouldn't mind, yeah. Yeah, I'll get right on to him. Thanks. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Inspector? Luke, are you in there? What, what is it, Sophie? Oh, Sergeant Gray just called. They're all heading back. <clears throat> Did they, um... They bust the kid? Well, apparently it didn't go according to plan. Can I come in? Yeah. What is it? <clears throat> um... Brian said he'd fill you in on the details when he got back. He's, he's been trying to... Yes, call thank you, me. Sophie. That's a terrific job you've done with those reports, Angie. I'll run them past the suits in Canberra tomorrow. That'll be all. Thank you, Sophie. Luke? It's a simple buy bust. What went wrong? My target, Alan Kelly, had snorted all the speed. He didn't have any left to sell. So why did he show up? Oh, he hoped that I'd pay in advance for another score. <laughs> I could do that. Then his lap girl arrived. Man? Chris is target front of him looking for more speed. And I got the impression that his lap girl was squeezing out a little extra profit for himself on the side. Alan said this better been cut to the shit. I reckon his lap girl is ripping off Milos. Okay, Leo, use that. Give Milos a call. Tell him you're one of Zlatko's customers or you're not happy with the quality. So a little discord. But I don't want anyone busted until we get the goods on the Black Widow. Look, if there is a sizable quantity of drugs about to flood the market, I say we move on. All of them. I'm sorry, Reg. But Liliana Jarris has to be our number one priority. War crimes take pole position. Those budgie smugglers leave way too little to the imagination. I'm off for a bit of bonding. Hello? Hey, it's Ronnie. Who is? Ronnie Naylor. Is me off there? I don't know you. No talk on this phone. Oh, OK. Well, look, I just want to let him know that his laundry detergent sucks. Another pack like last time, and I'm giving up slap go for good. Go, no, yes, no. Looks like hot work, mate. Hey. Yeah, I sweat like pig. Yeah, get this in here. Yeah, oh, thank you. Here's cheers. Yeah. Nice piece of machinery. Yeah, she run like shard of shit. Niloshek. Yeah, mama. Telephone me Rayonog Pizdara Ronnie Nailora. I never heard of him. Odma. Hey, sorry, Terry, I better go see what this is all about. Hey, hey, thanks. No worries. Quality speed, one ten a gram. Jesus, could it be good? Trust me, the new gear is good stuff. Two eighty three. Okay, if you go out with me. <laughs> what? Catch a movie, you know, hang out. Then I'll do three for two eighty. Maybe when you grow up. Then it's three hundred. Take it or leave it. Three hundred is. You know, if this stuff's cut to the shit, I know where to find you. Don't worry, you'll be back for more. Mm. You just watch out the traffic. That's it. Let's go. Everybody, I spot them. You can't mess up my gun off your ball.
Play calm, police. Once you're under arrest. Nothing. Hands. Hands. I don't know what you're talking about. He slipped and fell. And what? Just happened to bash himself repeatedly against your boot. Don't insult my intelligence, Milos. I couldn't if I tried. Now, I reckon... Zlatko was trying to do the dirty on you. Zlatko is a friend of mine. We share common heritage. You know much about Serbia? It's a prick. I've got a pool room full of kids who saw you beat the crap out of him. They saw him slip. We're up to our ass in drug dealers. And so far we've got absolutely zilch on the Black Widow. Why is it so difficult to get a bug in the house? Don't ask me. Your people have been inside for two days and they've got nothing. What about Zlatko? What's he saying? Well, not much. His jaw's wired in four places. That beating must be the figment of somebody else's imagination. <laughs> I'll go back to this prick Milos. You got a sec? Even if we do get a bug in Jaris's house, there's gonna be a language problem. Most of their conversations are in Serbian. Or can't we get the tapes translated? Yeah, we lose time, they get the jump on us. Actually, I know a bit of Serbian. Well, I can't speak it, but I can follow a conversation. I thought Novak was Polish. Yeah, it is, but my nan's a Serb. And you know, it's quite easy once you know the basic swear words. Because bad language is kind of a national pastime. <laughs> Very good, Sophie. Well, once we get a bug in the house, you're in the van with Reg and Brian. But don't hold your breath. Anyway, while we've got me lost downstairs, there might be one last chance to tempt the dragon lady out of it. Any sign of Harris yet? Not yet, but he should be here soon. Coffee's made. Huh. Today's paper. Oh, I could get used to this. You want uh, cereal? Toast? <clears throat> Pete. What? What are you doing? Looking after your interests, love. You know I don't eat breakfast, love. Well, that's why you need a man around the house to remind you breakfast is the most important meal of the day. All right, I'll have a slice of toast. Yeah, good. Got to build up those love All handles. All right, easy, Tiger, easy. <laughs> nah, you're perfect. You know you are. Always were. Action stations. Mrs. Jarris, I'm Inspector Luke Harris. We've taken your son into custody at police headquarters. He's been asking for you. If you like, I could give you a lift down there. Next thing on, yeah, but. Himself. I don't give shit. I'm beginning to understand the problem. Yeah, Liliana Jarrah only leaves the house to collect the mail. Apart from that, the place is like Fort Knox. Well, I can't hold Milos forever. I'm going to have to let him go. Yep, I better get back there before he does. Should we intervene? Call the police. <laughs> well, sounds serious. We don't want another target in hospital. Although, if she does have to be taken to emergency, we might be able to get that bloody bug in there. It's gone quiet. Too quiet? Visitor. Trish and Terry. Hmm. Hey, Milos. You all right, mate? Yeah, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Welcome to the bloody neighborhood. <laughs> I, I got present for you. Oh, Milos, you didn't have to do uh, that. Oh, look. Milos, mate. Don't know what to say. <laughs> Hey, you're going to be now true blue, just like me. Huh? <laughs> I come tomorrow and cement into the garden for oh. you, okay? But I got to go away, uh, you know. 
Stitches. Uh, you okay, mate, with that? Yeah, yeah, just a scratch. You know, uh, bloody door. <laughs> I go to have shot for tetanus. Uh, mm. I see you tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Thanks, mate. She hit him. And we get a garden gnome aborigine. He gives us something, we return the favour. So, this too? Listening devices in the frame, right? And the wire is the antenna. And you're going to monitor this from the ComV with Sophie translating, right? Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Jarris. Milosh, not home. Oh, that's OK. You remember us, Trish and Terry from next door? Well, we'd just like you to have this as a thank you for the lovely statue you gave us. Marsh. That's our pleasure. No want anything. Well, it's a gift, Mrs. Jarvis. A thank you present. Yeah. I can come in and hang it up for you if yeah. you like. Go away. Thank you, thank you. Obviously not an art lover. At least the old hag took it. Hey, how would you like it if I had a statue of some old white guy in his undies in our front yard? I have to live here too, you know. What, do I have to look at this shit every day? Ease up, mate. It was just a present, you know. Racist scum. Yeah, that was, don't you? Yeah, Chris's target. And guess who's watching? Friendly neighbourhood, aren't they? I reckon, Terry. Look, we're going to have to get rid of this. That kid's right. It's offensive. Hmm. We thought Mel, I should know better. Now, do you want a hand? No, I'll get rid of it. I'll tell them somebody stole it. At least we're going to have to dig it out of cement. Uh oh. Good timing. You bash Zladko. You bring police on us. You screw everything. He got what he deserved. Yebumu pas mater. What? May a dog f his mother. Oh, where's this from? Next door. Magnito yebo te dene pokracha. Move it, f you, before I vomit. Mama, you gotta get out more. You can't bury yourself in house all day. We're supposed to blend in, remember, like normal people. Normal. I give you normal. Oh. What, she give up or something? Yeah, the bloody front lawn, look. See that? Yeah. Seems as though Mum's an art critic after all. <sighs> yes, Brian. She's just thrown your masterpiece at the front window. Now we can't hear a bloody thing. I noticed. Listen, I'll call you back. Yeah, good on you. Yeah. And Pete, bung it in the spare room. We'll take it to the tip later. Uh, holy shit. This is the stuff the drug squad is after. No wonder Masters couldn't find it. The what? Well, there where you put it, is that you? Where it is? Oh my god, someone's stolen it. Bloody what? vandals. What? What? They should be locked up. What harm is a little statue doing? I mean, do you think we can get another one? Shit, shit, shit! Must have been a one off.
The powder's being analysed as we speak, Rach, but I don't think there's much doubt it's the methamphetamine you're looking for. Just under two kilos. I told you the bastard was holding. Well, it's no wonder you didn't find anything, Reg. It was up a garden gnome's bum. Oh, that's bloody beautiful. Oh, how am I supposed to bust Milos if undercover holding his drugs? Relax. We'll get them back to him. OK. Thank you. Milos has just been arrested for bashing up Ellen Kelly. You know, that Aboriginal kid? This just gets better and better. Well, why would he do that? Well, he seems to think that Alan stole the garden gnome. Angie said that the mother saw Alan go off about it this morning. OK. Well, if that's the case, when Milos is released, give him a call. Say you're a friend of Alan's. Oh, and that we've got his drugs. You've got and... the drugs and you're willing to give them back, but you want to make a deal. Tell him you want to be part of the distribution network. And you think he'll buy that? He'll have to if he wants to keep trading. Yeah, and he's a man short now that Zacco's out of the loop. Yeah, well, let's not forget what he did to him when he tried to put one over. Yes, you're right, Reg. You can be unpredictable. Chris, you take Leon Gray as backup. Yeah. Once we've got the goods on the Black Widow, we'll have Chris in place to bust Milos. No, yeah, 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 and paper wraps rock. That's correct, Reg. No, yeah, no. Pete, she's coming out. All right, take two. Head her off at the pass. Yeah. This has got to be it. Good morning, Mrs. Jarris. Yeah. Don't you love this autumn weather we've been having? Terry's been putting some bulbs in, hoping for rain. Can't remember a summer like it. They reckon it's the El Nino. Something about the oceans heating up. <laughs> South America gets floods, we get drought. No one to speak now. Go. Go home. Oh, it's just I'm going down the street. I was wondering if you wanted anything down the shop, some groceries or anything no, like that. No, no. Out of bed. Let me give you a hand. Uh, leave alone. I am not saying anything at the moment. Where's the black kid? He said he'd be here. Alan's a little freaked out, Milos. You know, you really roughed him up. Yeah, just a little warning. You ever touch him again, you'll end up with Zilch. I don't know you. I'm not dealing with you. Sorry, but it's me or nothing. Alan and I are in this together. We'll give you the drugs back, but we want to be part of the distribution network for a small percentage. <laughs> Come on, Milos. Just take us on and it's all yours. That's all we're asking. You and the black kid get the drugs back, or you'll be sleeping with your eyes open. <laughs> so this is nice, hey? It's comfy. Oh, ta. Yeah, well, it's not much, but we call it home. He's heading inside. Let's hope this damn bug Come on, Soph. Did you get it? No, but that's coming. Why not? If you. They want to help us sell it. Be part of the setup. Govno, jedno. Bloody statue, I told you it was a stupid idea. Donesi mi sve nazad. Of course I'm going to get it all back, I told you. Troklet je dan kad si se ti rodio. I curse the day you were born. Stop it! What sort of man let children tell him what to do? You don't have a stick! Hey, Mum, if you're so disappointed in your boy, just say so. They'll pay for it, don't worry! A sad piece ready there! You fix this, a mother from hell. Yeah, and she's calling all the shots, drugs wise. Go, no, yet no! I'm not a piece of shit! Stop saying that! You threaten! Now we have this scum with noses in our business. How we bring our friends to this country without drug money, eh? How we pay border guards? Passport, immigration! Well, well, well. 
God, no, yes, no. Well, at least I didn't murder people. Innocent people in cold blood. I did it for Serbia. Ah. It's not murder. It was war. Kill or be killed. Ah. They knew that you would give the order because you are dumb enough to believe in their stupid regime. So, you gun down those Bosnians. Unarmed men in cold blood. That is not war, that is slaughter! Ubi i. You mean scare them like Latko? Ubi i. What's she saying, sir? Wait, Mama. They're just stupid kids. They don't know about the people we bring in here. That side of things is safe with us. Sarif? Um. Kill them. No, I'm not like you. <laughs> you are weak. Same as your father. Weak as a girl. I've got more balls than both of you. Father died for Serbia, Mama. An honorable death. Died for nothing. I kill him. He was traitor! You think you'd be here if I didn't? We'd never have escaped Serbia. Now you make me sick, idiot piece of shit! We've got the evidence to put the Black Widow away for life. Now we can round up Milos. Forget about wanting to be a distributor. Give him the drugs. If he accepts them, we've got him. Now you've got to make sure he acknowledges ownership of the drugs. She I know knows that. that. Can you just make sure he doesn't kill me? We'll be right there. If he starts acting weird or anything, just call it in. Oh, OK. Can we go now, please? Your stuff's all here. I need the piece. He's pissed as. Where are we stand? Watch him, Leo. If he's drunk, this could get ugly. Bastard's throwing up. Charming. You okay over there, Millers? This is, um... It's your speed, right? Stuff that was in the statue? Yours. You sell it. What? What are you talking about? You just sell it. I don't ever want to see it. What the hell is he playing at? This gives us nothing. I don't understand. You want to be part of the gang? Here's your big chance. <laughs> it's all yours. Wait. You can't just leave. Look. What, what about some help, you know? Alan and I can't move that shit on our own. I gave it before you drove me. The nation say Nika Bisha Uspeto. What? You can have your drugs. I'm not getting mixed up in any of that again. Look, Miller. You know, Alan and I are taking the risk, right? What's the big deal? Okay, okay. Maybe I try a little sample. Shit. Maybe I need some now, huh? He's gonna find out we switched the drug. You don't need to try this. It's your stuff. What's the point? You know it's good. Offer if at risk, all units go. Move, move, move! You screw me. What's with the gun, Milos? Put the gun down, Milos. Put the gun Police! down. Drop the weapon now! Put the weapon down! Drop the weapon! Go. Is 
Mr. Jarris. Is that gas? Yeah, we just got into the house. The mother's dead. Gas is on, but that's not gonna kill her. I'd say she's been suffocated. Milos has turned on the gas to make it look like an accident. Sorry, Reg. You know what they say about best laid plans. Well, where's Milos now? Homicide got him. Pete was right. She was suffocated with a cushion. What about the young bloke? Ah, Alan Kelly. You'll be pleased to know he's turned over a new leaf. Young kid's out in a bond. And Chris has even convinced him to give TAFE another crack. Oh, good. Well, next time I want a big fat nothing, I know exactly where to come. So it's, um, it's good, right, that you're going back to TAFE? Yeah, flogging drugs. Made the building trade seem like a soft option. <laughs> eh? Well, who knows, you might learn something. I don't know about that. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Because, you know, if you ever need to talk to anyone... Then... Yeah, I'll give you a call. Cool. Mm. All right, well, I might see you around. Anytime you want to go to the movies. Can you fit this in your car, man? I thought you might like some homegrown. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, Pete. No. Thanks, they're lovely. No. Well, they'll probably die around here without someone like me. Oh, you never know. If you retire, you could become a florist. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been nice, you know? Sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Ballet, Terry and Trish. <laughs> It's nice to know that we can live together without killing each other. Oh, you don't know how close you came. If you left the seat up one more time... <laughs> and... Yeah, look, um, you should probably get this stuff back to base. I'll, um, I'll finish up here. Yeah. about. Pete's gone on ahead. You need a hammer though? Uh, no, I was just about to drop the keys off at the agents. Well, the rent's paid till the weekend. Right. So there's no way either of us could be involved in the inappropriate use of police resources? Well, as your senior officer, Constable Piper, I couldn't countenance that. Now, where were we? 